Hi everyone and welcome back to my morning report analysis videos on Monday 20th of March with me which is Market Analyst at Antic Markets looking at Euro Dollar. We've seen Euro Dollar which has broken above that 107.10 mark, this dotted line here, the reason I've got that is it's an old level on this chart as well and also it's acted as a bit of a pivot in the last few months um, as well. So it is a level that I think the market has been paying regard to, certainly uh, hit 107.14 before coming off last week so again I think it now becomes a basis of support and having broken up it's holding above that level so that's a positive and it certainly is now putting pressure I think for a move possibly on these this overhead supply really between a 108 figure and 108.50 which is this reaction over here I think that could possibly even turn out to be a big head and shoulders reversal but um, we'll wait and see if this as does actually take hold because also not only that you've got this big downtrend zooming out here you can see this big downtrend that's been in place since uh, April last year and that is coming in not a million miles off that 108.70 so it is um, coming up to a key sort of level really on a medium to longer term basis in terms of whether it can complete that base pattern um, I'm not necessarily thinking that it will do at the moment. I think that euro dollar is still um, going to be sort of trading in this range, um, and I'll be very interested to see if it uh, if it can hold on to that range because I think that um, with the dollar strength, I think it's going to continue. But um, in terms of what we're looking at for in the near term, I think holding up above 108, uh, 107.10 sort of will move the market back towards that 108 big figure level and then 108.50 possibly. Um, you've got the momentum indicators which are reflecting the improvement still, you've got MACD lines rising, RSI above 60, uh, uh, stochastic st positively configured. So it all sort of points towards gains and little corrective moves are being bought into. So 108, uh, 107.10 initially the support, uh, but any sort of reaction low above this um, 106 area I think uh, it could be uh, another higher low. Um, one oh, below 107.10 you come back into 106.40 being this old pivot. A bit of a roll there uh, last week. So 106.40 is initially supportive What if you do see the market below 107.10. Um, but uh, I, I'd be certainly looking to buy into, this. these are near term positions, buy into sort of a, a near term dip. Um, because I think there could be further upside in this move. Then it'd be interesting to see, as I said, if it can break through the 108 f to 108.50 resistance barrier. So I wish you good luck in your training today, and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.